Hey everybody and welcome to Let's Look at Crunch. As the kind of doldrums for Steam at least uh, continue into mid-January here, I'm checking out more games on Desura, which you might have heard me talk about when I was talking about, you know, Bridget, Super Tower Rush, what else have I played? Cooks are delicious, etc, etc. Anyway, this is another uh, Desura game. I believe this is going for like $7 during its opening week sale, but it's going to be like nine fifty when it comes out. I don't know, Desura has weird... Not necessarily like X99 prices, but in any case, this is like an NES themed platformer slash, it's, it's not really a platformer, it's not necessarily fair to call it that, it's more of like a racing slash puzzle game uh, that's kind of difficult to explain, but I've played about an hour of this so far and, and I'm very intrigued by this little title, so we are going to get started here. Uh, well, not get started, I guess we're going to continue. So I played about, oh, there you go, 47 minutes there. And as you can see, I have 187 deaths in 41 minutes, so this very much falls into the... Uh, super Meat Boy category of games that are incredibly punishing. I also have 857 coins. I believe those only count for high scores. So as we play Crunch, basically we are playing as this little uh, alien type creature here. And the premise of the game is that we started in kind of like a test tube. It kind of seemed, it was all told through very minimalistic uh, story or uh, just elements, I guess I should say. It seemed like we were basically being held captive by... Oh, God! That's going to be 188 right there. Uh, we were held captive by a bunch of aliens, uh, and now we are escaping, and we're trying to make our way through this, like, awful environment that is just full of shit that wants to kill us. Now, the basic premise, oh, Lord, of Crunch, is that we've got to get to the end of the level. Now, there's a lot of things stopping us. Uh, there's things that crush us, as you have noticed so far. Oh, that was kind of close. Um... Yes, there's things that crush us, there's those lasers which will also kill us, but if we get to the pipe then it doesn't matter. There's also, um, just kind of like the nature of the game itself is out to hurt us, come on, come on. Um, like if we touch those blocks it'll kill us, but beyond that, beyond like actual like literal obstacles, that was terrible. Uh, beyond literal obstacles we just lose health as we go along, so as the seconds tick down, we lose health, so it's impossible for us to stay still. Not just because uh, staying still often means you're going, oftentimes means you're going to be crushed by some kind of obstacle, uh, but because staying still will literally kill you if you do it for too long. This game has a pretty steep difficulty level. Some of these levels have not been too bad. It's generally speaking, it's not like a smooth difficulty curve in my experience so far. It's like things you'll you'll be fine for like ten levels. Oh, the saws don't kill you instantly, but they do knock you around a little bit. Um, yeah, like, things will be fine for, like, ten levels, and then on the level after that, you'll just totally screw yourself. And obviously, I'm not worrying too much about, like, score attacking everything here. Uh, I'm mostly just worried about getting to the exit. Now, the other thing is, I haven't mentioned it too much so far, because it hasn't been, uh, that practical. Oh, that was terrible. Uh, it hasn't been that practical to do it yet, but we also have a boost, and this is gonna factor into a lot of our, uh, kind of boss battles that we're gonna have. Because, again, you know, that was terrible, like a Meat Boy type style, uh... All these worlds have like X number of levels, and when we complete all of the levels, that was close. Uh, when we complete all of the levels, then we uh, face off in some kind of boss battle. Now, typically, levels have been about, or worlds, I should say, have been about uh, 20 minutes long. Ooh, that was kind of close. Let's boost through there. Uh, boosting, by the way, removes more health than merely standing still. We are gonna have to boost through this. Oh, come on, don't kill me. Also, when enemies touch you, as you might expect, they do uh, damage as well. Okay, we're safe here. Ah, uh, no. We just ended up being doomed, which basically meant, meant that time ran out, uh, and so our health ran out as well. Can I make it through here in time? Absolutely not. Maybe if I boost from the very start, I might... Oh god, they bounce you around so much. No, nope, that was abysmal. Might as well just kill me now, uh, because I'm pretty sure we have basically zero chance to make it through here. If any of these ghosts gets to me, and uh, four of them are going to do so... Oh, no, 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 you can do it! Sort of. No, we got zapped again. Okay, I gotta be a little bit slower here. But yeah, I'm thinking that this video is gonna be uh, adequate length to show off uh, maybe one full world of crunch play. Now, I don't know how long this game is, but like I said, I've played it for about 45 minutes myself, as you could see. Oh, Jesus, just go. Crush him, thank you. I've played it for about 45 minutes myself so far, uh, and I've been having a decent time with it so far, although there are some complaints that I have that I will levy as we get a little further along. That was very close. Uh, one of the complaints I have is that I feel like the controls, they're not unsatisfying. Oh, that was really stupid of me. Uh, they're not unsatisfying, but they are a little bit floaty, and I think that's the nature of the game. Like, I think it's meant to convey, like, we're moving through some kind of liquid medium here. Either that or we're just flying, but it kind of feels like we're moving through some kind of liquid... Oh, come on! O-Town style liquid medium here. Gross. Uh, so we've got to go through here smoothly. Otherwise, we're just gonna get crushed. Like, if we end up bouncing off one of the sides, we're just gonna get killed. I think it might be smarter for us to just take the top side there. Uh, so, in keeping with that, you know, the physical properties of a liquid, some- oh, God. 
God damn it. We've got to be really smooth through this um, section right here. Because if we touch anything, we're just going to get crushed. Which is a damn shame. I think if we just slow down for a little bit. And then, oh. And that was almost there. This could be one of those levels I explained earlier where, you know, probably out of my, like, now 200 deaths, like, 30% comes on 10% of the levels. Oh, we almost made it there. I think the one in the middle might be the easiest one to take down. Uh, but it's certainly not easy to take down. There we go. Okay, now that we're through there, we can't F it up. Yeah, or we can just get killed by the lasers instantly. Either of those options, I guess, is a, a viable alternative. Okay, now we've made it through there. Again, it has that kind of Super Meat Boy style. No, 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 no. Uh, Super Meat Boy style difficulty where, like, things that at once seemed incredibly difficult, just make it, just make it to the exit, you mother fucker. Oh my god, I'm gonna die here. I can't believe it. Just keep getting bounced off the saws. Make it to the... Oh, okay, I had about 2% of my health left. Wow, that was quick. Um, but yeah, it's got the same Super Meat Boy kind of style, um... Oh, that's bad for business. Uh, difficulty, where obstacles that at once seemed incredibly difficult, you know, after, uh, 10 or 20 times failing at them, actually, turns out they're not that difficult at all. Oh, we made it through, but then got shocked by the laser on the other side. Might have seemed like I'm just really bad at playing this game. I want to tell you two things. A, it's harder than it looks, and B, uh, the controls are a little bit tricky. You might think, like, oh, you know, like, Super Meat Boy is way harder because you actually have to, like, run and jump and stuff. This is not the case. Uh, Super Meat Boy, I mean, I'm not going to say one of one is harder than the other, uh, but just because we're just moving here, not, like, doing any wall jumps, doesn't necessarily make this innately easier. We're not just tracing a line, shall we say. So, I don't know where I'm going to hide here, maybe just in this tiny crevice right here. Keep going, don't hit the sides. Again, kind of an inconsistent uh, difficulty level, which is another complaint that I have about the game to some extent. Don't let the ghosts go down on me! Oh, that's bad. All right. Keep it up here. So far, so good, but yeah, you can see like half of the levels are borderline impossible for me. Maybe not half, maybe like a quarter of them are borderline impossible for me. And then the remaining three quarters only take a time or two uh, to get through. I'm fairly capable of sight reading uh, these levels. Now we're gonna switch it up and go this side now. And hurry, hurry, okay, that was kinda close. I like that the enemies get killed by the obstacles as well. That's usually like one of my premium strategies or go-to strategies. Uh, for surviving. That was pretty close. The one thing I gotta get used to is that the lasers don't fire all that quickly, so you usually have a lot of time uh, to basically just do exactly that. That was probably the lowest score possible on that level, um, but it's done. Actually, those ones seem to fire a little bit faster now, don't they? Well, that was bad. Let's try it again. Uh, oh! Again, the momentum. You have a little bit more momentum in this game than you do in a game where, you know, maybe like your feet are on the ground most of the time. But these levels with the lasers are not my uh, my favorite levels so far. Okay, we're, so we're halfway through the tech bay. That went fairly well so far. We could tweet about that if we wanted to. Every single time. That's like the dirtiest trick is to just start with uh, the lasers automatically firing. Okay, now as soon as I said the lasers don't fire all that often, now they fire constantly. So we're going to have to shoot the moon on this one. Made it through using the boost. Again, these squares will kill us in one hit. It's almost like, like a aquatic version of Super Meat Boy, if that makes any sense. Oh, get in the pipe! Okay, so now our death is inevitable. How do we want to go? I guess we'll just get crushed into the side here. Uh, so we should probably boost through a little bit more of this. Like I said, you can see I'm using the boost right now. It's just using the Z or spacebar key, or Z, you know, depending on your national proclivity. Um, just wait it out for a second here. I bet I can... Oh, I probably should have just gone for two. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, like, when you use the boost, you lose health much more quickly. Which you can probably notice. Believe it or not, this is surprisingly difficult to control right now. To stop right in the middle. It's taking all of my willpower. Beautiful. So we are going to get a boss fight fairly quickly. Oh, you can't make it. I was going to say you can make it, but you can't make it. So why lie to you? Oh, again, we've got to be very smooth through here. Because if we're... If we even touch... That's kind of like the main source of difficulty is like touching the sides of walls. Because it bounces you backwards. Same thing with the saws. They push you even further back. Um, but if you touch the... if you don't go through smoothly, uh, you were gonna find yourself in a bad position. Well, that was not good either. Maybe I should just go through the top here. So th there, there should be no ricocheting in your play. 
or you're gonna find yourself having a bad time very quickly. Oh, yep, as you can see right there. So I think going uh, the upper way is the right decision here. Just play it cool like Fonzie does. Probably over 200 deaths. Also, I should point out that as you look at the um, like the death screen here, not only does it have your playtime, but it also has the uh, number of times you've died in that specific way. So that's like the 60th time that I've been destroyed by being crushed by one of these things, which is kind of a cool uh, way of measuring, I guess you couldn't really say measuring success, but a cool way of kind of measuring your progress in the game, I feel, anyway. It's not good, yeah, might as well just let myself be killed there. Okay, let's be a little patient, because patience is a virtue, even in a game like this. Make your way through here, maybe we can... Oh, this is not good. Yep, basically just gonna get crushed. The game is pretty unforgiving uh, when you make mistakes. There's very much a speed element to this game. That's why I hesitated to kind of classify it by genre, because it's not really a platformer. I mean, we're not really jumping on platforms, which is kind of like the main determiner of, of what is a platformer, what is not. Uh, but it's also not really a racing game, because we're not, you know, driving vehicles necessarily. It's, it's like a racing puzzle game, almost. Just go fast. Okay, that level was actually surprisingly easy. I never should have had as much trouble as I did. Alright, let's just prepare for our imminent death here. Inevitably, that was going to happen. I guess we have to boost through this entire thing. There's a lot of really difficult levels that are almost like operation, you know, like the board game operation. Uh, in the up, uh, I should be careful here. Yep. Uh, like, in that they'll have like all of those, all of the walls covered by those enemies that, oh, god damn it, or the, the spikes that kill you in one hit, the glowing balls that kill you in one hit. Yeah, that's bad as well. Um, and then they'll also have like these bricks coming in from the sides so that you absolutely... You can- Oh, I had it! I just got a little too eager, too big for my britches. Um, yeah, but they'll also have the... God damn it. Uh, the blocks coming in so you have to speed through the level as fast as you can. But speeding through the level is going to lead to you making mistakes, which is going to lead to you... Uh, hitting the bricks on the sides, and those are probably the most fun levels that I've experienced so far. Alright, again, let's just wait for our inevitable death here. A lot of moments like this in the game, where you basically are just waiting for, uh, you know, hell to come to you. Oh, gotta watch out for the lasers there. And again, progress is incremental most of the time. You, you do well, and then... Ah, uh, that was close. Uh, then you reach another obstacle, and you get stuck by that obstacle, eventually you get past it, and then you reach another obstacle. Uh, that becomes difficult, and then eventually it just makes it possible for you to beat the level. At least that's been my progress so far. It's not that difficult in my experience. It's fairly difficult. I mean, this is certainly not an easy game. Uh, but nothing really has given me, like, more than, you know, five or ten minutes of trouble. On, like, some levels... That was terrible. In, uh, in Meat Boy, of course, that, that took a lot longer than that. But, I mean, I'm still fairly early in the game, or under an hour in. But I'm gonna go on the assumption, whether fairly or unfairly, uh, that this is a fairly short game. Don't hit me. Don't hit me! Oh, I was... Yeah, I knew I was gonna get crushed there. Uh, I've heard from the developers. I was talking to them uh, on email when I basically asked for a review code of this game because I saw it on Desura and it looked interesting. And they're apparently adding an NES mode to this game, which I think is gonna be really interesting. And the way that the NES mode is gonna work is that... Oh, come on. Uh, is that you're gonna start with three lives and I think every hundred coins you're gonna get a new life. Uh, which is going to make it very interesting, and you also get continues as well, I believe. But either way, that is going to make this game way more fucking difficult, as you could probably guess. Now, I'm just, I'm kind of struggling with how to get through, can I just go? Oh, it was kind of close. Oh, just deke around him there. This is not good. This is very not good. Just sneak through there, Mr. Crunch. Which sounds like a sweet-ass chocolate bar name. Again, that was abysmal. Come on, we can do this. I've absolutely got to get to, like, the boss fight and show off the boss fights in this game, because a lot of them are, are the most fun uh, levels in the game. Similar to almost like the brownie level from Super Meat Boy, where, you know, you're just having that race against brownie. Okay, so we're just going to go up, over, under, get in the middle. Nice. And, oh, I would have had it. Okay, here we go. We got, oh. No, oh, I had it. I did so well there. That was the best I've ever done, but botched it at the last second. Okay. So the first things first, we gotta sneak through here. Then we just go through here. Wait for this. Hide. Come back. Hide in the middle. That was close, but we made it work. Oh, come on! I guess we gotta get in that little compartment beside the wall. Oh, I should go. Yes. Uh, we gotta get in that apartment, uh, compartment, I should say. Oh. Again, that was very close. Now we wait in here. 
And we're so- we made it! Okay, good. We've got to be getting fairly close to the boss. This is what I mean by those, like, operation-style levels. A lot of levels in, in Meat Boy that very much resembled this. Oh, we gotta push the block! You can do it, Mr. Crunch! That actually was not so bad. I'm not sure what's up with that weird, like, cervix-type structure down there at the bottom, but the less I think about it, the better, I guess. Oh, you can almost sneak through there. This is a level where you absolutely have to use boost. Some levels you don't have to use boost. Some levels you can't use boost. Uh, and some levels you absolutely have to use boost, like this one. Now we've got to be getting... I think it's 20 levels per, um... Oh, Jesus Christ, this is gonna be hard. I... No, nah, it might not be that difficult, although I did die there. I think it's 20 levels per, uh, world. Or, you know, 20 screens per level, if you will. Got to be coming fairly close. Okay. Oh, there's lasers. We should probably watch out for those. Last I heard, those are pretty damaging. And this uh, this level actually seems fairly easy in its own right as well. Got to be quick through there, but that's all right. And immediately, I hate this level because we're going to be dealing with those one-shot killing blocks. That's okay. Maybe we should take the saw territory here. Seems easier than going through that huge, like, vertical column of lasers. Hopefully- Okay, I thought I just killed myself there. Hopefully the pipe is nearby. Because the block is coming for me any second now. There's the pipe, so I think we're gonna be okay if we just watch out for those lasers at the bottom. And then let the fan basically push us in. Sweet! Alright, now we are gonna be fighting the boss here. So the boss is gonna be some kind of ghost-type creature. That's gonna be horrifying. So far, the first boss fight took me, like, 20 minutes on its own to beat. Uh, but the, the second one I beat on, like, my second try, so I'm not sure how this is gonna go yet. Uh, apparently, I can just go through those purple beams, so that's good. So we're just gonna basically make our way through. Again, they all function kind of similar to the brownie fight, or, like, the, uh, the forest fight in Super Meat Boy, where you know you're against, like, that Dr. Fetus in the machine. Probably boost through here, he's getting a little bit closer. If, they, if he t touches us, we'll uh, almost certainly die. <laughs> this thing's got very close right there. Keep going downwards. Oh, that was, yeah, he ate me. He fucking ate me. I'm sorry, puddle of mud. You could probably use the money from the lawsuit that you would launch against me, but I would appreciate it if you didn't. So, oh, that, how did that kill me instantly? I thought I could touch the purple stuff. Maybe you can just go through it quickly, but it might hurt you if you, does it hurt you if you go through it? I don't know. It appears not, I think. It's kind of hard to tell because I'm not really looking at my health bar as I play. I'm mostly just looking at the, um, oh, come on, get down there. I'm mostly just looking at the, the course that lies ahead, which I think is the smart idea. Okay, sneak through here. So far, so good. Sometimes they're like multi-stage levels. Ooh, okay, we made it. Sometimes they're multi-stage levels, and I think this is one such level uh, where he will probably be coming after me again now. Uh, but at least it's a checkpoint, and there's that weird cervix-looking structure again. Please, oh, it's haunting me with its uptake of some kind of unknown chemical. I probably shouldn't have gone this way. I should have gone the safer way. Uh, but I don't see this purple dude, so I, maybe that's great for me right now. I don't know. How's my health? Pretty good. Just keep going around here. That was actually the easier level that we've had to deal with so far. Uh, and now we're gonna do the same thing. Apparently if I boost and I don't make too many mistakes, Crunch is not nearly as difficult as, as it has been in the past. Okay, I'm getting a little anxious because he is right behind me, right? Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yes, but luckily we started that checkpoint rather than have to, having to go through all the levels over again, which would be, quite frankly, uh, incredibly frustrating. I think the checkpoint system works well, even if it does reduce the difficulty of the game a little bit. Alright, so we've got to be basically perfect through that opening section. Not perfect necessarily, but we definitely... Uh, cannot bounce around too much on the edges. We'll find ourselves in a bad spot. But for now, it, it's usually much better to just have a smooth flight than a fast flight. Um, which is similarly my feelings towards air travel. Uh, we're just gonna basically be focusing on trying not to hit the walls, because hitting the walls is what's really gonna cause you some problems. Like, even hitting spikes is not necessarily that big of a deal. Uh, but getting bounced around by these ghosts and by, uh, various edges that you come across is gonna make your life very difficult. So that's, this is proving actually fairly difficult. This third level of the boss fight. I think it's because I'm getting, like, a, a swarm of ghosts after me. I'm not sure if that's the, uh, the correct term for a group of ghosts. If I was to describe the correct term for a group of ghosts, I would think that it would be, like, a haunt of ghosts. I think that would be pretty cool. I think that might be the end of the boss fight here. Nope, we got one more level, it looks like. Nope, we cleared it! Alright! 
So we played about an hour of Crunch, as you can see so far, and we are going to move on to the next world. But that is going to be it for my video. Uh, Crunch is now available on Disura. It's somewhere between seven and ten dollars. Uh, would I recommend it for that price? That depends if you're into these kind of games. You know, if you're a Meat Boy fan, you're a, a Skull Face fan, if you will. Um, you might be able to get your money's worth here. It doesn't necessarily control as well as as Meat Boy or Skull Face. There's no kind of like overarching story necessarily to deal with, uh, but it's reasonably fun enough in its own right. Although, you know, if this was on Steam, I might recommend waiting until it, it got a little bit lower in a sale, because it's more of a diversion. Like, I don't necessarily feel myself being compelled to finish the game at this point, but uh, as a time waster, I've been having a pretty good time with it so far. So again, this is Crunch. I'll leave a link in the video description if you want to check it out on Desura. I'm not sure if there's a demo, but there might be. Uh, so make sure to check that out if you're interested, but in any case, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.